Today, we're checking out another new game, Vertical Kingdom. I like that this first screen doesn't have too many words to read. What happens if I hit continue? I don't have a game. New game. We want no tutorial. We want campaign or empire. Um, empire. Yeah, we're sure. Capital of the empire. Throne room. How hard can it be? We're building a city. We're going to build it up vertically. That's a lot of words. Dear great architect of the glorious empire. After the devastating war, we are facing a capital city in ruins. An empire near the bankruptcy and citizens with low morale. However, we are building a plan. Your mission, rebuild our capital and bring it the glory that it deserves as a core for all the world. You will travel to different regions in order to build and expand our empire and get resources that we will need to create great wonders in the capital. Your brother is exploring the north right now. You will explore the south. Good luck, the emperor. That's a lot of words. I skipped the tutorial. Empire mode, where the entire game takes place. Good, we did pick the right game mode. This is the capital of the empire, the main area where you can see your achievements during the game. On the right, you have the upgrade button that will help you complete your expedition and the map button where you can choose the regions to explore. Remember that you can move freely around the stage. Cool. Hit the X. So we got these three things. And that's about... Ooh. WASD do things. Can I zoom out? No. Okay. We want to click this one because it looks fancy. Improvements to the throne and the capital of the empire. These will give bonuses or unlock cards for the matches in all regions. I did not realize this was a card game. Hit the X. Click the map. Go to... End of the Sea. The End of the Earth. The Region of Scorpius. The Region of Serpents. Region of Lacus. This one is locked. This one has a plus. This one's locked. Let's go here. We're going to find out if it was a mistake to not do the tutorial. How bad can it be? Headquarters are ready. Here you can upgrade your camp. Buy improvements that will help you in the cities of your region and choose the next place to go. You need a space here. Good luck with your mission. Glory to the Empire, your camp assistant. I think this game is early access. I'm pretty sure. I think it had a demo, though. The developer gave a key, so yeah. Happy to be able to check it out. Welcome to the camp. There's so many words. Start expeditions in this region. On the right, you have several buttons. We have a button for improvements. We have... We pay for those with points that we will obtain. Got it. Got it. There's a map button. I thought I already did a map button. Bam. <laughs> Wait. We have food, we have blocks, we have water, we have logs, we have stone, we have metal. We have people, and we have glory. Cool. All is ready for the journey. Would you like to start gathering resources and continue to the next place? Yeah. Okay. This is looking like a roguelike map. It's not vertical like Slay the Spire, but it looks very Slay the Spire-like. And we have a key. So we could go to... I like the idea of a wonder. The wonder is at the end. Okay, the wonder is probably bad then. Maybe good. Random events. I like random events. Camps. So all of them have the same total number of events, and I don't know what is good or bad. Let's plan on going to this camp. There's actually one more event if I go through the middle. Middle it is. Small highlands. Ground in different levels. That sounds good. Full of stone and metal. Few forests. I'm guessing I do want forests. Start with an extra amount of stone. Desert just sounds bad. Let's go here. A lot of thought was put into that. 
very few fertile seeds. Increase food by, per turn by, er, by 10 per turn. That sounds very good. When you click on this artifact during this turn, so these are items. Like relics, maybe? During this turn, when building, buildings will not have placement restrictions over other structures. That does sound useful for a vertical kingdom. Clicking this artifact resets cooldown 10 turns. Resets all active cooldowns for zero for artifacts cooldown 10 turns. So this would reset this, I think. We're going to take this and we're going to click here. Select a card. Okay. We're going to click here. Never mind. We're going to click here. Hey, this looks like trade. Max number of trades, one. I get 10 food a turn. Here. I'm going to sell a food and buy a metal. Maybe I should buy wood. It doesn't look like there's wood. No idea what I'm doing. There's residential. Do I only have... Who knows? Zero out of five. Population of the city. Reaching certain number, you will unlock new cards. Okay, we want population five. I think. Do you see how many words there are? I think that's all the words that I've seen so far. Okay. So I need... I don't know. There we go. I found the button I need to click to make things happen. House. Owner doesn't like be the same house near. What is its, like, vision range? If I put them down here, then they won't be able to... S okay, you're going to go there. I see negative one. Okay, so they can go pretty close to each other. And there's a place for them to work. Imperial loyalty. That's close to glory. Happiness and loyalty of your city. Okay. If it reaches zero, you will lose control of this city. We have food. Should have paid attention to what these cost. Minus one food per turn. Minus one of the blocks. Nothing with metal. Plus one population. Plus one circle. All the donuts. Maybe that's a bagel. That could be oh, it's a coin. Figured it out. Go there. We're spacing these all out. New card has been unlocked. You can buy it in the store. We've already visited the store. Buy it. Hey. Cost zero. Done. So I don't want to build more than ten of these. Because then I would lose out on my food per turn. I don't think there's any re discard phase. Choose cards, discard. Each card, discard, decrease. Okay, so there is a reason to play these. Because I think those other houses were just better. Now there should be like, yeah, these, not that one. This one, never mind. Just as good. Brick tower. You can build only a small brick house on top. Plus four donuts, which are coins. Plus two population. We expect the two population. Can't go on top. So this can go on top of this. But it gives a minus one to this. A one that's green gives a two and a one that's green. 
wonder what that one that's green is. So let's look at the coins. Ten. That one that's green might be loyalty. Okay, I'm getting minus food per turn if I play this. But if I play one more, then I get stuff. A new card has been unlocked. You can buy it in the store. A well, only buildable on land. It costs a population, gives two water per turn, and it costs a block. I did mean to go buy that. And it costs five of my coins. We have to break our silver. Got ya. We can do this. If I build this, I'm into the negatives for food. 15. We can get to 15. Feel pretty rich as far as coins go. And buy it in the store. Ooh, a farm gives plus 10 per turn. Costs one water, which we can get with the well. Five population, five bricks. I need a way to make bricks or blocks. Bricks! I need a way to do that. I'm down to 10 coins, but that's okay. What? Choose each new pack of cards for the next five turns. So this one has wells in it, has farms in it, but it costs a lot of people. I think I want two farming and then go back to building houses. Wait, does that pack have the wells? It does. I see them. These are both only buildable on land. This doesn't say only buildable on land. Wonder what. So I'd like to put you on Greenland, I think, but I wonder if it matters how close they are to people. I don't see any kind of indicator for a bonus. Any kind. This can't go on a roof. For now, we're going to build a well and a farm. Ooh, that did grow green. I like that. We're positive food. We're positive water. I don't really need a second well. I wonder if there's a bonus from having farms next to each other. So this is basically just getting a free farm. It's okay, but not amazing. What is this? Only dry land. Like this card, nothing happens. Maybe I will understand that at some point. This is a farm. Can't build this on top of... Okay, I'm not getting the vertical aspect to the game yet. I don't know if I need another well, but I guess this costs a person. Worth noting, I had 25 people here, but this number has not changed. Should have three residential packs after this. That would be minus one. Great architect! I have good news! We have reached a new achievement and have been rewarded with new Plazone. Plazone? Money? You will be able to see your Plazones. No, in the throne room of the capital of the Empire. Today is a great day for our glorious empire. Let's go. Great architect. Excellent news. You did a great job. We completed all the goals in this city. We can move to the next place and create a new city in order to expand our glorious empire. Let's go. Building pillar. You can build on top. There we go. Now we're talking. I want that. I don't even want to go to the next city yet. Five blocks minus two wood. I don't have a way to make blocks or wood. I guess... I wonder if I build more 
I don't know. We can keep going. Huh. There's probably no reason to. But I am curious if I could keep getting this up. We're at 22 out of 25. So if I build this, does it level me up? A new card has been unlocked. Buy it in the store. A brick house. Brick house. You can build only a small brick house on top. Ooh. I would like this. So does that count as like industrial? No, I need to go to my deck here. No, brick house is a house. It doesn't produce bricks. Why was I thinking? Okay, one thing worth noting. This one is cheaper in the cost of total bricks. Not much cheaper, but slightly. I thought this would make new bricks for me. You can go to this map, I think, at any time. Plus eight, plus three. Why is it worth more here? That well does give a bonus to a brick house. A new card has been unlocked. And buy it in the store. A basic stone mine. Needs a stone source near. I happen to have a stone source. I feel like I should be going... Okay, I can't afford this. It costs 50. I should probably go to the next map. Okay, this gives a bonus too. We're going to do it just to get some coins. Maybe I get to keep the coins. Maybe I don't. Why did I space this one out weird? So that I could fit a well right there. I'm at 34 out of 35, though. There are platforms that would let me build up. Listen, we're just going to do a farm, a residential. A farm, a residential, a residential. We don't need platforms. We're going to end this as soon as I get one more level up. So if I build this here, it doesn't get a bonus. It's so weird to me. Yeah, no bonus. Just gives water. So I have lots of excess water, a little bit of excess food. Do I need more? I think... I kind of want to see if I get more loyalty. Number of cards that... Choose cards to discard. There we go. Discard. Okay, we dropped to 99. Ancient dice. Clicking this card, receive cards into your hand up to the card limit without passing turns. I don't know why I would want this. There seems to be no penalty from passing turns. I just get more stuff. Brick house I did want, though. Really, I'd like the brick house to be next to a well. We'll put it there. What is this? Stone tower. You can build only a small stone house over it. This costs wood, three food a turn, two rock. It only gives two money. It does give three people. But more importantly, we're getting a variety of houses, some of which... So far, I can only build small stone houses on top of them. So we have a brick tower... What? Platform. Oh, I didn't actually unlock it yet. Can't afford. What does this one cost? 50. Whatever I get next will cost 50. I don't know if these stay unlocked or not. This one seems way more important. Tempted to just... So to get 50 money, I would have to... Build some of these, but build them in places where they get me extra money. Ooh, like right here. It's 
sand extractor. Sand extractor just gets me straight up blocks or bricks. This is what I want. I don't know what the stone is used for. I do know what the sand is, what the bricks are used for. I feel like I could get to the 50 money, then we could move on. I keep saying. Do I need to discard that? Go back. We'll just play this. Brick house. Okay. Base is becoming a premium. Hey, but we have space. But not for this one. Big stone house. You can build only stone towers over it. I'm seeing the potential for the game now a little bit. Except I need way more coins to be able to actually buy these things. Wait. This is just a small house. It could go on top of one of these for plus two coins. Oh. Yes? Let's do it. We're rich. All the silver. Okay. Sand extractor. Bye. Hit the X. Go to the map. All is ready for the journey. Would you like to start gathering the resources and continue to the next place? So I get to keep 95% of my glory. I get to keep 10% of my population. Imperial resources in the journey. Is there a way to increase these numbers? Imperial resources. I don't know what that part means. I only get to keep five of my 45 coins. How do I have 45 coins? Wait, I'd like to cancel. How much is it to buy my next card? It's only 50. Okay, never mind. We're going to keep going. Maybe you should go as long as you can on a map. I do notice my food is going down, though. I should not be trading that. If anything, I should be buying food. Water seems very easy to get. Click this. Discard. Trying to get 50 population. Um, don't really need more water. And I can't fit the farm, right? Ooh. Totally can. Wonder if there's a quicker key that I can hit to scroll right and left. This seems to be it. Could build a well. The only place I would like to build a well is where I screwed up and put but right here I could build a well. Click that. Discard it. We're lowering the loyalty, but I'm going to lose that anyways. Click this card. Discards all dry land event cards from your hand, and you receive the same number of fertile land event cards. I would like to know what fertile land is. But not in the cards. Windmill. It needs a farm or food warehouse near. It gives plus 20 per tick. It probably needs to be neighboring farm or food warehouse. Seems very good. It looks like it's only a two space, maybe, instead of a three. Not super necessary. Food doesn't seem to be a problem so far. You have enough money to do things. That gives too many negatives. I wonder if it always affects the neighbors, even if it gets like super high up above. We're rich. 
Okay, so this seems to be maxed out, even though I'm guessing there still are more cards to unlock. I like the idea of... I like the idea of this being on the ground, kind of, but I also like the idea of getting this stone, even though I don't know what it does yet. If any of these were, like, more efficient in food per turn, then I would take those over this. Good news is, everything only seems to cost 50 at max. So, click that. Cool. Now I don't have to discard it. There's no way to fit this, right? There is. I could put it... No. I thought I could... I can fit these down here. But they can fit right there. So the only thing is, I'm using up my bricks. I think we just move on now. 95, 10, 50%, 50%, 35, 35, 35. Okay. Map completed. Population 54 times 20. Hey, we can click through. Cool. Resources, 288 times 5. I see. Kind of. So I could finish the mission and go back to the Empire, I think. To the capital? I'm not sure. All right. I'm going to be playing more of this for sure. I want to keep going. I want to learn how it all works. And it took me over 20 minutes to do that first map. But we learned how things work. So that does it for this video. Next time, we will continue on to this random event and see what that entails. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.